Let's get to um, a shooting that happened last night. Four people were struck, two victims in critical condition. Bill Anderson is over at Temple Hospital where they are. Bill. Hey, good morning, Karen. And yes, as people wake up and the doctors and nurses start making their way in, there are four individuals here at Temple University Hospital after being shot in what now is being described as a pretty crowded corner, the 3600 block of Germantown Avenue. A lot of people may know that area. It's Germantown and Erie for Max's Steaks is pretty well known there. But we're hearing that there was also an outdoor vendor kind of set up in that median area where people may have been outside shopping for clothes or other items. And that created even more people on the scene as police believe a drive-by shooting just kind of firing into that area hit four people right before 10 o'clock last night. Now, four of the individuals who were hit brought themselves to or were driven to the hospital in private cars here to Temple University Hospital. It's two men ages 33 and 34. They are still here. They're listed in critical condition. Two other victims, one identified as an 18 year old woman, another simply labeled as an adult male listed in stable. Again, police believe it was a drive by, but the investigation continues. There were several bullet holes in the cars that transported the victims here. Police also found a large amount of marijuana in one of the cars. That driver was held for questioning. But right now there are more questions than answers and the investigation continues. It's a multiple shooting, um, but we take all shootings seriously. We're lucky we have numerous cameras in the area, and we're lucky that all four victims are going to survive. So we have four victims that are also witnesses. Hopefully they can tell us and identify who did this and why. You know, more questions than answers, Karen. I feel like we're saying that a lot. And it's not just questions about what happened in this shooting. It's questions about how we stop people from randomly shooting into crowds and all the injuries and deaths that are happening on our streets. We continue to wait for answers to those questions.